So I opened the barbershop because I saw, I saw a gap, right? I wanted to create an environment that I felt proud to work in, and I think a lot of barbershops offered the community piece of it, but didn't offer you know, the kind of career trajectory that I saw for myself. And I saw a lot of barbers also like not take pride in where they worked and how they worked, and I wanted to like provide that space. It really started solving a problem for myself, and if it was solving a problem for me, then it probably would be solving a problem for other barbers as well. One of those things is belonging. You know, what if we use the barbershop as that place to belong? Because historically, barbershops have been third places. You have work, you have, you know, home life, and then you have this third place that you can go to and connect with people and share ideas on and so forth. Whether it be a coffee shop or a barbershop, you need this place to belong. Do people look like you? Because if nobody in the, in the shop looks like you, then you probably aren't welcome. If we could hire all different types of people, then when somebody walked in, they would see themselves. You know you belong. Because if I walk in a bar here and I don't see anybody that looks like me, that's a signal you don't belong here. And I think when you have black ownership, it naturally turns into a place where black people gather and have open, honest conversations about strategy on how to build wealth in your community or how to just be safe in general. You know, the barbershop is the black man's country club, period. Shop talk happened because we would attract all these different individuals across you know, racial lines, but also across kind of professional lines. We, we would have college students, we would have college professors, we would have athletes, entertainers. They would have this information. They would have these insights and because of the trust built between client and barber, they would share some of those insights with us. And when they shared those insights, I just learned something, or I just taught something, or you know, we just learned something as a barber shop. And I said, what if you know, we started to intentionally organize like they did back in the day? What if we organized these talks around what we learned in the shop, right? And it turned into kind of a community classroom where we were able to bring in Grammy Award winning artists or graffiti artists or you know, athletes and have them tell their story uh, or political officials and they would tell their story while getting a haircut. Where our community felt comfortable asking whatever question. Because no matter how famous you are, when you walk into a barbershop, everybody's the same. We're trying to take it to the next level of like, not just sharing and debating, but also teaching. And I think we can do that in a very non-invasive way I think we can do it in a way that's authentic to this space, and I think that uh, we can shake some things up.